One interesting and fundamental thing to study about waves is the speed of waves. Now the speed of waves really depends on the medium. So basically it's just a fact of life that in some mediums waves can travel faster than in others. Think for a minute about the difference between water and molasses. We know that molasses is a really thick, a really viscous substance and water is a lot thinner in comparison. So you might expect a wave to be able to travel faster in something like water than in molasses. Well the same thing goes for all different types of waves. So for sound waves also, the speed of sound waves depends on the medium. Air is only one possible medium for sound waves. They could travel still in water, but the speed is going to be different. Now the speed of sound in dry air is roughly 343 meters per second. But that varies. I mentioned dry air. It depends on the temperature, because that affects the density of the air, as well as does the humidity. So that's a rough figure for the speed of sound. But again, if you have sound in water, it travels much faster. Now light, of course, is a little different because you know that light does not travel in any medium at all. Light is an electromagnetic wave. But again, since it has no medium at all, then all electromagnetic waves will travel this certain speed, and it happens to be about 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And since all electromagnetic waves don't travel in a medium, they travel in a vacuum or they travel through independent of a medium, they all travel that same speed. Basically, for doing any analysis of the speed of waves, we're going to use a good old familiar formula, V equals D over T. So just like for absolutely anything else, its velocity can be calculated by its distance divided by how much time it took to cover that distance, because of course that's basically the fundamental definition of speed. So we're going to use this fact to deal with the speed of waves.